Congratulations on getting to 100 episodes. Did you think when you started your involvement with the show that it would get to that point? Well, when I was first brought on to the show, I believe it was uh, season three or four, and I knew that it was a success. Uh, what I didn't know at the time was how devoted the fans were, and that's the reason that we're in seven seasons, is the fan base for the show is just so remarkable. They are committed, they're invested, and they're committed and invested to each other, not just to the show. And I find that very um, rewarding as an actor to see how it brings groups together because they care so much about what goes on with the characters. Um, as someone who's worked uh, all of my career to uh, advance women in our industry, I'm really gratified that a show like Rizzoli and Niles celebrates female leadership, female friendship on and off the screen. And have you had fans approach you of the show and how does that go? Well, they like my character, so that helps. You know, and my character's complicated because she plays Mar. I play Mara's birth mother who thought that the child had died uh, during birth, so she didn't know she had this daughter and she wasn't willing to accept it at first. And uh, they, they have been so um, vocal about wanting the relationship with Hope and Mara to be satisfying and healing. And, and I'm so glad that we've done that. And looking at the end of the series coming up, without giving away any spoilers, what did you want to see for these two women in the end? I wanted to see the progress that they had made because of each other, allow them to move on to other chapters of their lives without each other if, if that was what was best for them. And I think that's what we all look for as we move on in life, is that the time that we put in, that it matters, that it counts, that it adds up to something. That we don't just leave it as if it, it didn't happen, the good or the bad, but that they move us forward with more insight, wisdom, and uh, grace.